podcast series the show where we embark on a journey to unearth the hidden gems of human potential and talent join us as we connect with individuals who have yet to discover their full capabilities and talent delving into their unique stories and experiences together we will unravel the mysteries of self discovery and celebrate the extraordinary in the ordinary so sit back relax and let the rustle of inspiration guide you on the captivating exploration of untapped potential welcome to our episode today's guest we have miss anju joseph partner quantum india anju a seasoned professional with over 24 years of quantum since 1998 is a visionary in understanding consumer evolution her extensive journey involves collaborating with blue chip companies mapping consumption trends and deciphering societal shifts passionate about creating impactful relationships between consumers and brand she draws insights from diverse interaction nationwide an avid reader and thought leader she is pioneered new models in collaboration with institutions like nim hms and wharton an engaging speaker and visiting faculty at iim bangalore anju's expertise extends beyond research to enjoying travel reading and indulging in reality tv and films during her downtime if not in research she envisions herself as a part tender ensuring everyone has a good time hello ma'am i hope you are doing well yes thank you very much i hope you're well too yes ma'am may we start ma'am yes sir uh so i'm starting with the first question can you please share some insights you have gained from your 24 year journey at quantum regarding consumer evolution and trends in options um like uh, can you be more specific can you ask me about a specific uh, you know space or category and then it will be easier for me to answer ma'am honestly this question is really about your expertise in quantum matlab your 24 journey in quantum company yeah right so uh, okay so let let me attempt i think it's a very broad question uh, but if you if you look at uh, when i joined it was i joined in 1998 and we are in 2023 so the world has uh, changed quite dramatically uh, so when i joined actually i think it was uh, soon after liberalization right like so 1991 was liberalization and then we saw a whole decade of uh, very conspicuous consumption because people were being exposed to brands that they didn't have access to they were being exposed to experiences they didn't have access to so there was a whole era of conspicuous consumption after which also you know parenting changed uh, what what was allowed for children changed what was not allowed changed and then came an era of like uh, probably greater awareness of uh, you know what you should consume and uh, what you should not so more restraint uh because people had sort of settled down and then came the online uh, you know the online explosion um uh, and then covid happened so overall i mean i think dramatic shifts have happened in the last uh, 25 years that have been around and uh, each of these has impacted how we as a culture how we as uh, people have uh, you know have changed have grown have evolved so today actually if you look at us uh, our aspirations are the same as anyone else across the globe we are all traveling a lot more uh, you know we all know a lot more about things outside of our our small community or our small neighborhood so i think the the consumer today has uh, is way more evolved has a lot more information has changed the way they shop because uh, you know they can shop online they can get information online they can shop offline so omni channel as an idea uh many brands in the space uh, d2c brands for example is a new um, the, you know it's a new thing that's happening so yeah a lot of uh, dramatic shifts in the last 25 years okay that's great ma'am um can you please shed some light about your involvement in academic institutions like iim bangalore and your corporate uh, contributions in corporate forums and client events 
Yeah, sure. So, uh, I mean, uh, with at IIM Bangalore, I teach a part of a course that is linked to product and service innovation and the role of qualitative research in that. And I've been uh, going to uh, that institute for, I think, uh, 15 years now. Um, I also do like guest lectures at, at other institutes when, uh, as and when I'm invited. Um, you know, so, so our role is as quantum, we do see ourselves as uh, people who, who need to educate others on the discipline of qualitative research or the discipline of consumer psychology. So we do a lot of training with our clients in terms of, you know, how to think about qualitative research. Uh, what does consumer psychology mean? What are some frameworks, for instance, archetypes or, uh, you know, thinking about brand equity or understanding consumer socialization and so on. So, yeah, I do all of that quite regularly. Oh, that's nice, ma'am. I am Bangalore is really a prestigious institution, I think. I believe yes. it's one of my favorite institutions. Really? Okay, why is that? Um, because when I was in ninth, I really thought yeah, I'll go with uh science doctor and engineer. You know, a typical middle class boy. But uh, after that, uh, my mindset changed a thought of maturity gain it. Then my I'm not saying that science is not or science is not I am Bangalore is my favorite. Just, as a person, you also give ranking to some of the institutions. Correct. So as per my ranking, I am Bangalore is one of my favorite. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you must have interacted with different kind of consumer, different mindsets and uh, different demographies. So, how their thinking has influenced or changed your ability in any or the other way? So, you know, the, it's a, I think it's a, it's a great question. It's also probably a question that requires a lot of introspection. So the consumer is constantly changing, right? And, uh, you know, like I said, um, earlier, the consumer was someone who did not have access to too many brands. Uh, the idea of quality was limited to a few brands. And then the consumer has moved to experiences, seeking holistic experiences. So from product to experiences. Also, quality is a given. So today they're looking at more value added, um, you know, needs being fulfilled for, um, you know, in their lives. Uh, so at, at every given point in time, the consumer is teaching you something new. So even if I've been working on one category for the last 25 years, every time you meet the consumer, your learning is something new because the consumer is, is such a dynamic entity. Constantly, um, their influences are changing. What they, what they see is changing. What they aspire for is changing. So actually on my job, every day is a learning experience. Every day you learn something new. That's great, ma'am. Um, I have a question in mind. In the continuation of this question number three only, uh, you said you started in 1998, right? Yes. And today is 2023. So yes. there's a huge technological and communication shift in our country and in the world also. So the coming question is related to that only. With the rapid evolution of technology and changing demographies, how do you navigate the intricate landscape of consumer trends to ensure brands stay relevant in an ever-shifting market? Yeah, I, again, like great question, um, Aram. Uh, you know, the uh, so techno so earlier uh, there was this imagination that there is technology and then there is our lives, right? Like today, both of them have integrated. So we live our real lives are not one or the other. We live as really on digital as as we live online and as a result what is happening is really firstly how do i get information about the products that i need to buy has changed dramatically so earlier i'd probably ask my friends today i do a google search i look at product reviews or um, you know i look at what experts are speaking so the way i search has changed the other is the steps in my consumption journey has has also changed right like so earlier i'd go to a store I would look at the products, I'd probably go back home, I'd come back and so on and so forth. Today, a lot of the, the, the learning that I'm getting on 
products is um, is online, right? Like, so uh, for me, I don't need to go to the store anymore. The other is also discovery of new products. So how do I discover new things? Again, um, it's, it's, it's become very different because again, uh, because of what is happening digitally, I learn about so many brands. So for instance, if you look at these small brands on Instagram, uh, before the digital revolution, nobody would have known of these brands, right? Like, but today, all of us buy from there, all of us, uh, you know, wear uh, and uh, consume brands that are that are these small shops. So just the landscape of brands and uh, just the landscape of what what people want to offer or opportunities to run businesses without big infrastructure, all of that is uh, so different. I may still go back and buy offline. However, a lot of the, the journey before that has uh, significantly shifted uh, online, right? And my reliance is actually not just on, uh, you know, people I know, but it's also on people I don't know who are, who are putting out reviews online. And I'm also, uh, I'm also looking at what people are talking about it globally. The other big shift is I think people are also very conscious about how you're producing as much as what you're producing, right? So, you know, what are your employment practices? Uh, but, you know, do you have fair trade? Uh, what are your sources of access? Is that is are things ethically sourced? All of those are also becoming very important conversations for the consumer. So I think uh, there's been a there's been a dramatic shift thanks to this digital revolution, and also because the demography demograph the demograph the demography is changing, right? Like so, the Gen Z consumer is somebody who is way more. Uh, sustainability conscious, way more environmentally conscious, way more conscious of, uh, you know, impact on planet. So again, the way we consume, uh, so they want to like, they, there was some publication on Instagram trends. And one of the things was that they want to buy less clothes and they, they are into thrifting. Now, these are not concepts that existed even a few years ago, but all of these are new things that are emerging because, because of a more conscious, uh, because of a more globally connected consumer. Okay. Okay. You know, something, if you don't learn something new, then, uh, you know, it becomes a little boring, right? True, ma'am. Completely agree. Ma'am, we all know this. We all know that we are all aware of it. We all know that we are all aware of it. Ma'am, there is a point in your life, client someone who asks you something like मतलब any situation or any question जिसने आपको भी सोचने पे मतलब which give you a challenge like यार मैंने ये कहाँ पढ़ा था या फिर मेरे को क्यों नहीं समझ आ रही है and how did you address that to them yeah I think uh, I think such a superb question Aram actually uh, हर रोज ऐसे होता है you know, every question is a challenge and every time you do something, it's like you start with saying you don't know. And which is why uh, your colleagues become important, the clients you're working with becomes important. Uh, you know, consumers give you so much clarity, give, they give you so much knowledge. And then of course, study, academic uh, study, right? Like there are so many thinkers, so many academicians who've written papers on things that you haven't thought about. So that again adds to clarity. So, so at least my approach has been that I'm not alone. Uh, agar, firstly, agar kuch nahi pata hai, to I will say meko nahi pata hai. Right? And then uh, I, I don't feel shy to ask for help. And that help may come from my clients. It may come from my younger colleagues. It may come from my seniors. Uh, it, and of course, the consumer who seems to have answers to everything. So, and of course, the academic work. So, uh, matlab, har roz ki baat hai. True. Um, but still, one question is your favorite one. This is one of my favorite questions I have ever heard or something. 
or any scenario or situation something uh, you know mera favorite question hai ye kya ho raha hai you know hamari samajh mein nahi aa raha right <laughs> that's the that's the best starting point right like when when you can't understand what is happening so like for instance uh, so like during covid and post covid i think most marketers actually did not know what is happening what is going in the going through the consumer's mind how are they going to shop how are they evolving ye the, all these were very fundamental questions right like and discovering and unraveling each of those was very very uh, very very exciting so so just to give you an example just when covid hit uh you know like every the the world got paralyzed right like nobody knew what was happening yes. so some of us at quantum got together to say what is going on in the consumer's mind and what we did was we studied what people were posting online to really understand what are the kind of mindsets what is going on how are people responding to crisis and i thought that that was such a actually quite a landmark exercise because um, you know it is important to record when when history is turning a page it is important to record it and it is important to understand and record it right and we did that and i thought that was really really exciting and it has actually helped us even till today because that and what have been the shifts from there so how have i responded to the crisis and how has the consumer shifted for instance there's been a lot of introspection about what are my priorities in life or the consumer has said you know life is transient so let me make the most of every day that's been another another shift right like so some consumers are saying okay because you saw that uh luxury goods were really going through the roof because people were saying you know what am i saving all this money for i should be spending it on things that i want so very interesting things like that but you know the the question ye kya ho raha hai i think is is the most exciting one because uh, you know rest assured at the end of it you will have an answer and you will collaborate with people you haven't thought about you will access sources you haven't thought about so yeah <clears throat> okay but basically that uh, covid era is one of your challenging thing I think that would be true for everyone. Uh, आपके साथ कुछ अलग था क्या? Yeah, obviously, नहीं नहीं मैम, that's the different. <laughs> एक तरह से different भी था, unique भी था, challenging तो ये नहीं एक साथ थे. Totally, absolutely true. हम shall we call it of the day or do you have any suggestions or anything for us? Uh, we can call it a day. I mean, if there are any more questions, I'm happy to answer. But otherwise. Yeah, we can call it a day. That's great, ma'am. So thank you, ma'am, and our audience for joining us in this episode. Until then, stay tuned for our next episode. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul. Really appreciate the work that you're doing, and thank you, Aram, for uh, you know wanting to talk to me and listen to me. Uh, I really enjoyed myself, and I think you also provoked some.